What's good, magical family? It's Unique Divination, and you're tuned in to Urban Mystic TV. Today is Tarot Tuesdays, so I'm going to pull a few cards to help give us some guidance for the week. See what we got going on, what's the energy like, and how we should move through the rest of the week, right? It's always good to know. Um, I'll be using my Hermetic deck. Usually, when I do my YouTube channels, I like to... Um, work with the Thoth deck, but the Hermetic deck is one of my favorite decks. I feel very comfortable with this deck, and I just like to work with it. Um, I love the Thoth deck, um, but I like my Hermetic deck as well. I'm a very simple girl, very simple girl, black and white, but um, as far as my deck, but it, it speaks in volumes, right? And so let, let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to keep pulling the same energy of cards. The first card that we've got going on is Fortitude. This is the Daughter of the Flaming Sword, and this card represents Leo, which represents courage, self-determination. And we probably have someone that, and this is for everybody, you know, you might be going through a tough time, including myself. I've got a lot of crazy energy. I had a really trying day yesterday. It left me, my stomach in a knot, and I just felt like, ugh, like I can't go on. And so this is for myself as well. You got to pull from within. Sometimes we feel like we can't push forward. We may f feel overwhelmed, and especially people that have mental health issues that are coping. They don't take medication that are not even aware that they have mental health issues or you are aware, but you may be in denial. Right. Like I said. And so sometimes we feel like we don't have the courage to move forward and to move on. We're just like, fuck it. We want to throw in a towel and just give everything up. And I know that everybody watching this, you have you have a lot to lose. You're not one of them people that don't have anything to lose. You know those people that can just throw everything the fuck away, snap out, go to jail, check themselves in to the mental facility, and just, you know, give the fuck up. However, you have people counting on you. You have a family, you have loved ones, you have friends, you have a job, you have things that you want to do in life, you have children. There are a lot of people and a lot of things counting on you. And if you throw in the towel, not only are you letting yourself down, but you're letting other people down too. And really, it's not even, we shouldn't be thinking about other people. But the position that you are, you can't, you, what you do helps other people, right? Especially if you're a caregiver or somebody that's just the matriarch or the patriarch of the family. This is for guys and, and women too. So including myself, sometimes I want to throw the fucking towel in y'all. Sometimes I want to say fuck it all and just walk away and just be like, fuck it. I want to just be fucking homeless and just disappear off the, off the fucking grid. Right. But I realized that my daughters count on me. I'm the oldest of four. My brothers and my sister count on me to give them guidance and to be there even when they don't want to fucking hear it. My husband counts on me. I have a job. You know, my nephew counts on me. Um, I have a lot of people that count on me. And so it's just not about me. You know, when you walk that spiritual path and when you realize that it's deeper than you. I would be very selfish if I was to say fucking and throw in a towel. So I have to dig deep. I have to dig deep into my primal, my primal nature and pull up that 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 instinct to keep going. That that primal instinct. Lion, right? The lion represents courage, pride. And so I need to just keep moving. Self-determination. I have to keep moving. I have to pull from within. And knowing that other people count on me gives me that drive that I need also. So just remember, right? You got to dig deep. You have to dig deep and you have to pull from within to continue to motivate yourself. And whenever you feel like shit, whenever you feel like, you know, what the fuck am I doing this for? Everybody that means something to you should pop into your head on some real shit, right? And the next card I have is the Nine of Wands, which just keeps is confirming what I'm saying, which is Lord of Great Strength. 
And this is a Sagittarius card, which deals with expansive transformation and spiritual awareness. Tap into yourself. Tap into yourself. Whatever deity you worship, if you, if you fuck with your ancestors and your spirit guides, you need to start becoming more spiritually aware and in tune with yourself. I always recommend people know their natal charts. If you don't know anything, know your sun sign, your moon sign, and your ascending so you can somewhat figure out how you operate. And once you start getting in a fucked up kind of attitude, you can look at your moon sign and see what it is that you need to work on or pull from to keep you going. Right? Um, and remember, with, with great power and strength comes great responsibility. You have a lot on your plate for a reason. You chose to come here to this earth. We all chose to come here for whatever lessons and reasons that we have to. And so just like they say in, in Christian faith, God is not going to give you what you can't handle. And that seems kind of crazy, but it is what it is. And so we got to remember that we have the strength to move on. I think this week is going to be about strength. Um, the fortitude card has fire on it. Nine of wands is a fire sign. Right. And fire represents creativity, um, goal directed activity and just the action of will to just keep moving. Right. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Sometimes we just we think too much and, you know, we try to have a game plan for everything. Sometimes everything don't have a game plan. Sometimes you're just so fucking tired. All you can do is just keep just put that foot forward. Right. And so for those of you that are feeling that energy like you can't do anything just focus on just keep moving forward if nothing else right just keep just keep pressing on knight of swords okay prince of the chariot of winds this has capricorn and aquarius in it capricorn deals with hard work structure um moving forward swords deals with business communication just the mental capacity knight knights deal with um, he's got a sickle and he's got a, um, he's got a sickle and a sword. Sickle is killing shit off, you know, harvesting. You use a sickle to harvest wheat, right? So you've got to do some work. Swords deals with cutting, um, you know, this could be working, work on our communication with people, work on our communication with people. Um, and see, we've got some fairies here. They can be represented as spirit guides, um, ancestors here to help us in what we have to do. The Knight of Swords just reminds us to make sure that we're staying towards our goals. Make sure we're staying towards our goals. Make sure we continue to have that ambition. And we're going to get this by understanding that we have the strength and that we're going to have to pull from within. Okay? So there's just everything's just realigning and telling us that as long as you keep your eye on the prize and if nothing else, just move forward. Even if you don't even know how the fuck you're going to get there or you don't even feel like you're going to get there, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And that, that's especially for this week. It's going to be a trying week for people. It has already been a trying week for me and, and it's only Tuesday, <laughs> right? But we just got to continue and just remember to keep our eye on that prize. The Last Judgment, The Spirit of Primal Fire. The Last Judgment, we're judging ourselves too harshly. We're judging ourselves too harshly. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop thinking about, well, you know, this person is doing this and I'm only doing this. You need to stop that. You're not going to get anywhere in life if you keep comparing yourself to other people, right? You have to worry about your path. And what you're doing to progress yourself. There are so many different people at so many different ages doing so many different things, right? And so once you start comparing yourself or judging yourself har harsh harshly, you're going to limit yourself for what it is that you can do. So definitely for this week, stop focusing on what you didn't do, what you should have did, how you could have did it. Why didn't you do that? The past is the past. You can't bring back the past. The future is not here. The only thing that you can do is work on the present to dictate what your future is going to be. You have that power. 
And so judging yourself is not going to do anything but set you the fuck back and not progress you. you. You won't progress that way, right? Remember to stop looking at things on a ground level perspective or a worm's eye view is what I want to call it. You want a bird's eye view. Start looking at the totality of everything, right? And, you know, most importantly, stop judging yourself. Judging yourself does nothing for you, okay? The last card I have here is the Ace of Cups. And so Ace of Cups deals with emotions. Aces deal with beginnings. You need to start opening up towards people, and especially for this week, and start telling people how you feel or just starting to express yourself. And my sister and my family laughs at me because lately I've been just been crying. You know, I'm not holding anything in. I've got a lot of self-healing and soul work that I have to do. And part of that is whatever emotions I'm feeling, I let them out constructively. And if I feel like I need to cry, I need to cry. And don't get it twisted. I'm not a fucking punk. <laughs> it has nothing to do with being a punk. It has to do with I'm tired of holding in feelings and not releasing them. And they just sit in there and just fucking fester. And I'm not expressing myself constructively. So I cry. I cry. I release my emotions. And I'm starting to communicate with people, tell them how I feel. People that I've wronged, I've apologized. And I'm learning to forgive people that have wronged me. You can't move forward in life if you don't forgive the people that have done things to you. How are you going to get forgiveness if you are not willing to forgive other people? No matter what the fuck it is. And that sounds crazy. You know, we may have had people that have done some fucked up shit to us. Right? But guess what? You've probably done some fucked up shit to people too. And so if you want that forgiveness from somebody else, you have to forgive all those people that forgave you. And it's not about them. It's about you. It's about you. And if you want to fucking heal and if you want to move forward in your life, this is part of shadow work, which I definitely specialize in. But you cannot heal. You cannot fucking heal if you don't forgive somebody. And if it's somebody that you just fell out with yesterday, <laughs> let it go. Let it the fuck go. I'm trying to tell you, let it go for you, for you. Okay. So this concludes Tuesday. What's today? The 30th, January 30th, 2018's Tarot Tuesday reading. Comment below. Let me know what's going on. If this applies to you. Okay. Thank you for tuning in as always. I appreciate it. I'm about to hit like 5,000 views. I'm 5,000 away from the 10,000 10, that I, I need for YouTube to start monetizing my channel, okay? Um, if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit my little fancy watermark so that you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications um, when I put out new videos, all right? All right, so until next Tuesday, I will be talking to you later. Okay, bye-bye.